Hi guys, today's video is all about self tanning. Um, I'm going to show you some of my favorite products and how I apply um, my most favorite <laughs> self tanning product of the moment. Um, it's kind of a little different. I've been using a body brush like this one to apply. Ooh, that was really loud. I've been using a body brush like this one to apply my self tanner for probably like I've been using that method for like two years now and it's been working amazing. Um, I used to think that self tanner was like really annoying and um, it's like why go through all this hassle and now I totally embrace it. It's actually kind of an, an enjoyable experience for me because it's so easy using um, a brush. That self tanner for me has become a convenience because it is quick. You can get a tan in a day as opposed to having to tan for like a week to get a little bit of a base you know, color going on. I'm not one of those people that hides from the sun. I love being outside. I love going to the beach all summer. Um, so I do catch a little bit of color naturally through my sunscreen that I apply religiously. But um, anyway, I don't like bake or fry or anything. But naturally, just like being outside, you're going to get a little bit of color. So I think that's great. And I like to add to that um, with a little self tanner. I think that some people embrace the pale. Some people embrace the tan. Some people do a little bit of both. Just, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you like. So I'm going to kind of go through, there's a couple different kinds of self tanners. Um, a gradual self tanner, which is kind of like one of these, Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer, kind of like an everyday moisturizer type tanner. So I have to moisturize anyway, so this really fits into my routine really well. The Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. And it is the revitalizing one, which... Um, it says the color lasts two times longer. I don't really know about that. I don't really, I don't know. I'm not really so sure about that. I just like this because it doesn't smell bad. It has more of a fresh scent to it. I mean, I and I pick out the one for medium to sk um, skin, medium to tan skin tones, just because the other lighter one doesn't really show up. So it's like I'd rather supply one you know, one layer of this, then apply like three of the other one to get the same effect. And then um, in the summertime, I use this one all year round. In the summertime, I kind of add another self tanner into the mix that I think is amazing for um, all different skin tones, all different, um, you know, it's not going to clog your pores. It's not going to, I'll read the bottle. It's the Bare Minerals Faux Tan, better than real. And um, this is Bare Essentials by Bare Essentials. The faux tan does have an added bronzer into it so that you can see where you're applying it. The color, I'm going to show you it in a minute. It is absolutely so unbelievably natural. This will look natural on the fairest of skin tones. I've realized that the easiest way to get an even tan is to be able to see where you're applying it. So, you know, if you don't want streaks and you want a foolproof application, I think that tanner with a little bit of an instant bronzer added to it is the way to go. This checks off all the boxes because it really is perfect. It smells like, almost like coconut. It smells like a tanning product, like a sun tanning product that you put on your body, like a coconut scented, you know, type thing. Not smelling of self tanner. It smells really good, I think. I usually apply just very light layers. I'll apply like, uh, you know, maybe two to three days in a row if I did this, or two to three days a week will maintain the tan that I really like. But anyway, um, so if you're used to that kind of an instant bronze, this won't be that much of a surprise for you. If you aren't, and you're thinking, I would never want color, like, sitting on my skin, I'm going to show you a way that will make it a lot more um, transfer proof in a second, too. But, I mean, really, it's weird, because this... I don't really worry about it transferring. It's not like it's this product like um, that's sitting on the surface of your skin. It almost like just evaporates and like becomes one with your skin. So it's not just like sitting there waiting to transfer into anything like you bump into or anything like that. It's like a really nice white shirt. I'll probably, you know, save that for a different day, obviously. But I have applied this and thrown on like a white t-shirt. You know, I've heard of people swimming with this. I've heard of people just doing whatever they want, you know, leaving it on for, you know, the entire day. Some people do that. I just leave it to develop and then rinse it off later. So, my little actual routine, this is um, kind of what I do 
I'm always moisturizing, so I always, um, before and after, not right after, but after my tan is developed, I'm constantly moisturizing. It'll help it last longer. And then up until I apply myself tanner, I'm always moisturizing too because you want your skin to be moisturized ahead of time. It'll really just be a lot more even. Um, as far as barrier cream, I don't really do anything like that. I've actually never really gotten into using like a crazy expensive exfoliators or anything like that for my body. I do use St. Ives Naturally Clear Green Tea Scrub, which is really nice. And lately I've been using these little babies. Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Cleansing Pads. You can cleanse with one side or you can like exfoliate with the other side. It makes your skin look like totally new, different skin after you use these. But So they exfoliate really, really well. They just slew, is that the word, slew off all the skin. And it makes it a nice fresh surface for that tanner to kind of adhere to on your face. For the rest of my body, um, I find that instead of using all kinds of crazy exfoliators and stuff like that, I find that shaving... Also, uh, just using a washcloth to exfoliate and kind of buffing your skin when you get out of the shower. I have like a set of really dark navy towels. So usually, I mean, it works out great. So, I mean, you can't see it on the towel. It's just, you know, I buff my skin. Any kind of dry skin comes off so easily. And you don't have to like scrub all these like chunky exfoliators on. I mean, they're expensive too. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, so I've, I never use them. And I get great, you know... I think I get pretty good results. It's not like patchy or uneven or anything like that. So anyway, after that's done, like I said, I'll usually apply moisturizer and let that um, kind of sink in for like 20 minutes or something. And I think it's also beneficial, like before you apply your self tanner to your face, I think it's really nice to apply um, an under eye cream. You don't want that under eye area getting really, really dark along with the rest of your face because if you think about it, if it just stays the same and everything else gets a little darker, then it's going to look brighter. So your under eye area is going to look a little brightened. So if you moisturize it, it's going to create a little bit of a barrier so that um, self tanner isn't going to absorb as much. So I use the Miracle Worker by Philosophy. This is just the one I've been using lately. It's an eye cream. looks like that. When it comes to actually applying self tanner to your skin, I know a lot of people use their hands and then they go and wash their hands and then sometimes you'll get orange palms or you'll get like weird streaks around your wrist from washing. So what I do is I use a brush. Um, now let me just tell you, this faux tan here, this is how this kind of works for me. Faux tan is a little bit pricey in its regular bottle. This is a 16 ounce bottle. This is twice the amount that it usually comes in, I believe. Twice the amount. Um, what happens is, I've said this before, I'm a big fan of QVC. Whenever QVC comes out with their spring, summer kind of collections, I always pay attention for a faux tan, like, special. Because they always have it on special, and you can usually get a big deluxe size and a body brush together for, like, 40 some dollars. If you think about it, a lot of the higher-end self-tanners are, like, 30 to $40, and you're going to have to purchase them maybe a few times over the summer. So this would be actually a fraction of the price of that, and this will last you all summer, and then you'll have the brush forever. If you just buy it in the regular size, you might just want to buy it in the regular size just to try it, but for me, like I said, I know it, I've tried it, I know I like it, so for me to buy the small sizes individually is a waste of money. And I get a brush, and I'm good to go. So I've gotten this brush before. This is the Flawless Body Brush. And essentially, don't get too caught up in these brushes. I mean, they're really essentially just large kabuki brushes. This one is like a natural fiber brush. It's not really that clean, so sorry. But um, this one's like the one I used last summer. It has natural fibers, and this one is synthetic. So you can use synthetic, you can use natural. And the only, you know, thing that's similar between the two is that they're densely, very densely packed bristles. So if you can find some kind of brush that's dense and big and is going to cover a large area, it is going to work. It'll work. You're going to be surprised at how, how amazingly easy it is to apply a self tanner with a brush. I'm also going to provide a link to a Sigma. I think Sigma has a large kabuki brush like that. I'll provide a link to that as well. But um, anyways, I'm going to show you with the newer brush that I just got this spring. This one, I, I really like this one too. Um, but I've been into this because it has this little handle. I don't know. It's cute. You ready for this? So what I do is I'll just kind of like on my arm, little tiny dots or something. And 
if you're still watching, so then you take this, your little brush, and what you can do is you can either do like a cross hatch pattern, which I really like to do, or you can just do small circles. Easy, no big deal. Let's try to do it so you can see it in the camera. So cross hatch is just go one way like that. And then go, let's see. Yeah, and then go the other way like that. So you're going this way and you're going that way. And as you can see, the tanner's already blended in. Literally took two seconds. It's not hard at all. And you can see the color is really nice and natural. It doesn't look crazy. And the best part is how easy with this brush, like you don't have to touch the product. Um, the easiest way that I've ever found to do your hands or your feet is using a brush. So you can get in all those little weird places that normally would have little tiny like streaks and weird things and go over your hands. And then you don't even have to wash your hands when you're done. You can just apply it really quick, wait five minutes, get dressed, and be out the door. So it's that simple. Um, I feel like I want to show you that again because it was almost too easy. So I'm going to keep my bracelets on this arm, but I'm just going to try to show you without getting it. I'm even wearing bracelets and I'm applying self-tanner. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. And sometimes if I'm doing my leg and I do some dots, I'll kind of do this. Like to spread them out. Like that. <laughs> it's not really that much. It's not that bad, guys. I know. And then... I like using a brush it's like takes that whole like annoying element of self tanner out completely since this you know has body lotion and stuff on it I wouldn't go and apply that to my face I mean you could if it was clean but I, that I feel like that makes my face look shiny so I don't like to do that so what I usually do is use this little blender brush from CVS it's the beauty essential tools you just check it out, it's the same general thing going on. We have dense bristles, tightly packed dense bristles, and I think these are natural fibers. So this is synthetic, this is natural, and you can use them together, it looks great. So what I'll do is, um, you know, sometimes if this is a little big, if you have small hands, it's hard to get in the little, you know, nooks and crannies, you can use this for your hands. Tap a little bit on and kind of blend the dots together, very little bit, you do not need much at all on your face. Like just a quarter of a pea size amount, like, distributed you know around and then I'll blend it all together with this brush um I know I just said I don't do my body and my face first so I will do my face and then I'll like do my hands I avoid my eyebrows but if you're going all over with it um make sure you take a q-tip and remove the product from your eyebrows because that is like a dead giveaway getting that weird orange eyebrow look but honestly with this I haven't experienced like streaking issues in a very long time because of the method I used to apply so it's really convenient. Like I said, it doesn't take a huge chunk out of my day. And I almost forgot to show you the little trick thing. Okay, so like I said, the other day I did apply this and put on like a white t-shirt right afterwards. I mean, you might notice a little bit of transfer, but it's not going to be anything like, you know. Just use common sense with it. Um, it is a tinted product, so just keep that in mind. But um, I don't really think about it too much unless I'm wearing like a stark white garment that I really want to keep nice. I don't really worry about it too much, but um, I wanted to show you a really cool trick you can do to kind of keep your self tanner a little bit more transfer resistant. You can kind of spot treat certain areas. So say I'm putting on like a tank top, I would just take a little bit, I mean this is the HD, you know, HD powder from um, Makeup Forever. I'll just take it on like a powder brush and I, I'm wearing it like a long maxi dress today, but if I were wearing like a tank top or something, I would, you know, just apply it to the areas where like the strap would be here or if they're like wider straps I would just kind of like my shoulders or whatever you don't have to do it everywhere just some places where you know the fabric would touch your skin so it's going to dry the top layer of your tanner so that your clothes are going to kind of just creates a little bit of a barrier between your skin and your clothes this isn't a foolproof method but I have to say that it really really does work very well um just a nice, you know, it's a nice little trick to know. So yeah, those are all the steps I take to get kind of a summertime faux glow. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.